Hello. So as we have done last month and we'll do the continuous months, um, assumably never ending at this rate, uh, we are going to be giving uh, a situation where you guys could donate to a charity. And this month, these aren't random, by the way. These are just literally real life experiences that I see like X situation or this situation happens and it's just like, oh, like brought more into my attention, right? This month, I was uh, approached a couple days ago, and it's going to be short because the other one was very long, and I apologize for that. It's like, it takes up a lot of the video. Um, I was approached by someone, and they basically gave me this, and what this is is a, uh, a, a situation where you can at least uh, discuss and help uh, make an attempt to give housing to homeless people. I'll probably have a link I actually will have a link for this entire month, and this will be the intro video for the entire month in the description to donate to homeless organizations to help homeless people, uh, you know, uh, come back into life, get even a shelter for themselves and all these things. But basically what this uh, summarized to itself says is that no one should be denied their uh, adequate affordable housing rights that they do have it's from the Constitution Amendment. Um, you can look it up yourself. It is written in the Constitution, housing as a constitutional amendment. So um, it's an unfortunate situation. It's a situation that happens in big cities, a city I live in, cities across the globe, across the world. Uh, homelessness is a very big problem, and there's really uh, a lot of negatives being done toward homeless people like taking away places to sleep or taking away this and that so if you feel the uh kindness and uh well being to want to donate there will be links in the description if not at least a link in the description for this entire month to donate to a homeless organization that helps get them shelters and etc so feel free to i will as well i actually have but i will again um later on and uh yeah enjoy the video and if you do donate, well, proud of you, and I uh, hope it does help the situation, because everything will help, and I think it's a big problem that actually does go under the radar more than it should. Every problem does have, you know, a lot of under the radar, but this, this is very prominent. You'll see homeless people very often, so if there's some way to help amend that, here we are. Feel free to donate. Link in the description. Enjoy the video. All right, so in this one, we are going to be using the Super Saiyan 4s. They are now off boost. Everyone really is off boost besides Ultra Gogeta Blue. If we do go to PvP, we do check the boost uh, characters. Can't see here the feature boost has been dwindled down to a far extent. The free characters, I'm pretty sure as well, besides Broly, because he came with uh, the time frame of Gogeta Blue are also off boost, so you do have the 4s, Zamasu, VT, 17, the EXs, uh, all these characters, all off their boost system, all should be in C tier, honestly, all the way down here, yep, as you can see them there, VT, Zamasu, etc, etc, we will be doing VT tomorrow, probably the next video after this will be VT on off boost, and then, I don't know if I'll do Zamasu in 17, because they'll be in both videos, so they just might be like, already getting their showcase while getting like the fours and vt showcase so not sure if i'll do them individually but Zamasu probably is more worth doing individually than like you know 17 just because is so like cracked and he just does he just can go anywhere and do everything but team wise here listen it's on screen right now i was told this is the best gt team by a gt main a day one gt main a only gt main so here's his channel you know check him out he uploads he started doing that recently he told me this is the best team for GT, not just for the 4s. I didn't ask 4s, I said GT, right? So, it, it, these two are here. Listen, you could easily swap them out. You could have, I, I don't know, EX Sin, who's like double attack, then strike attack or some bullshit, whatever he gives right there, right? You could swap out a Zenkai buff, put somebody else, it'll be fine. All reality, do you need double Zenkai buff? No. But does it just work better for your main unit that's meant to be the main damage dealer? Because Forku can do damage late game because he's already going to be popping off because he gets all that damage inflicted buildup. Do you really need to focus him? Probably not. 17, he is more meant to be a wall than anything. That's why his leader slot, so he gets all the extra Z abilities that we're giving here from the 4s, from the uh, LF Forku. Uh, I would just say, could you replace this bench with something less of a Zenkai buff from like Forku or, well, full power Forku or... 17 yes you could easily throw it away but what i was told is this the best so i'm just i'm just following the orders of hey i want the best this is the best i'm gonna run the best the simplest way to me simplest way i'm gonna do it 
The fours, I don't have to go over their kit. I will say one thing about them that is uh, under the radar that I feel like is not discussed as much as maybe it could be is that they do seal blue cards for a certain amount of timer counts, I believe it's three timer counts, uh, while they're doing attacks, right? So having Ultra Gogeta Blue, if you have like a blast done against him while you're with Goku, you usually don't actually have to worry about Ultra Gogeta Blue doing his counter attack, doing his blue card counter off that gauge because, well, you sealed his blue cards, right? So they do have some niche spots against even some purples there, especially that purple, the big, you know, bad purple. But team-wise here, obviously it is GT. Z ability-wise, just to go over, I actually don't know everyone's Z ability, so I'm just going to go through it right here. We are getting Blast Attack and uh, Defense there from 17, then Strike Defense, obviously because Leader Slot. The 4s themselves are getting Double Attack and Strike Defense. LF4, who is giving Strike Attack and Defense, then Strike Attack as well, because they are obviously GT Sun Family there. 17, Double Defense, uh, and Zenkai buffing the 4s. The Full Power 4, who is Blast Attack, then Zenkai buffing the 4s as well. And then the EX Goku also giving HP there. Again, Double Zenkai buffed here. Equip-wise for them, this is what I was told was their best equips, so I am running their best equips. Strike attack, special damage, strike attack, ult damage, and base health on this one. This one here going to be special damage, uh, key recovery, strike defense, then strike attack. And then this one here going to be strike attack, strike attack, special damage, and blast attack. A lot of strike, a lot of blue card. Uh, obviously, you want their blue card to be doing a lot of work as they are uh, revolving around the idea of doing a blue card, right? Literally every single entry is Goku drawing a blue card just infinitely. So you want their blue cards. What I expect of them off boost is same output. Also, I expect their output to be a little bit better than I've seen in the past because I usually don't double Zenkai buff them. But same output to what uh, we're accustomed to. And then their defense is maybe not how far down uh, LFGV fell off, right? The original GV fell off. But in a category close to that, I, I will say their stat spread is not going to be the most limelight thing. It's just kind of how... Uh, you see with tag units, their defenses definitely will be more faltering than not compared to other LFs that come out just because, well, they have a tag mechanic. They got to make them a little bit worse in some departments, which I agree with that to an extent, right? So they might see a little bit of hurting in defenses. Obviously, they're losing 15% defenses. They're going to see a little bit of hurting. But with that being said, let's get into match and see how the LF Cores duo can do in PvP. 14 stars off boost in PvP. First match up against hybrids. Oh, looky, a blue card. That could be nice. Could be, should be, will be. This will hurt, I assume. I mean, you're neutral, so it's fine, but like, that still hurt, yeah. Why did you even think? Why'd you even go to Beast? Like, really, why'd you go to Beast there? Dude. There's someone that's been honking their horn for the last, like, amazing. For like, I don't even know how long. It's been a pretty long time though, because I've been here here before this match even started. That's a lot of damage. Gotta go. Uh, they've been honking their horn for a good minute, and it's very fucking annoying. Gotta point out. And there's no traffic, so that's fun. Okay. Go to the fours again. Oh, uh, please. Thanks. Appreciate it. Do this. Dropping here. I figure he's gonna swap. No, we're not. Okay. Still a lot to do this, though. Doesn't matter. Still have cover null, because when there's three enemies, the fours do have cover null on tag out. And then from here, we probably kill Pan? Question mark? Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Maybe not? No, we do. Okay. Another blue card, by the way. Yeah, this is the fours. That, that's a pretty raw screenshot, I'll be honest. Damn. Like, he's pissed. Alright, well, that is the fours, to be honest. Yeah. This is what I'm kind of talking about. Their damage doesn't really seem to move anywhere. In any capacity. And then, lo and behold, they're really... Uh, did they even take much hits? Yeah. Maybe they took one. Yeah. It's whatever. Yeah. Uh, screenshot this. Tweet me it. Discord. Send me it somewhere. In three, two, one... Screenshot, no forfeit screen, please. Please, thank you. I'd like the no forfeit screen. Send me it, and then, well, I'll like it or something like that. Nice stuff. Easy stuff with the fours. It's going to be easy stuff in this video. Thankfully, last video was tough. Good beginning match. Two yellows and then a purple. Situations we're in here. 
Okay. I mean, no reason to stay with the fours, right? Do blast. Cool. Can't do anything else here. Caught him, but this is neutral, so it's not going to murder him or anything, unfortunately. That's okay. I mean, I could go for these strikes. He could just go to USV very easily here. He won't, I guess, but he could have. Okay, do more. There he is. Green card? Did I catch him? I did. Unfortunate. Go for the strike. I actually was going to go for a blast there, not expecting Bardock, but thankfully I did not. Let's do this. Tag out. Um, unfortunately, Bardock is not really him, uh, I'll be honest, so I don't really expect much of Bardock here. I think he's just going to die. Oh, I mean, he's not dead, so that's, that's cool. That's cool for him, right? Hmm. I should get the key back for this, right? Two key? No, I do not. Oh, boy. Okay. I could just rush there, actually. Oh. Okay. You know what? Disadvantage. Let's see some. Disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Should be a strike. Yeah. A lot of blasts. Why'd that delay so long? Okay, sure. My, my card just delayed 10 years. That's not fun. I would not appreciate that next time. Thanks. The hell? Very strange. Yeah, what is this lag? What's going on? What's going on? Tell me, man. What's happening over there? Because this lag is crazy right now all of a sudden, and I do not enjoy it. <laughs> Maybe you do, but I do not. Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, this crazy lag is interesting. Uh, it is what it is. Oh, I barely have any left from last night. Hmm. Okay. Can I get an LF? Any blue cards? Okay. It's always the early season, then like the last day of the season. Where it's just like the laggiest shit you could ever play in the entire fucking world in this game. You want this game smooth? One of the best games I've ever played. When it's smooth. But when it's like that? Most tedious situation you could ever play. But hey, the four is still looking good. Do we technically call this PO? Is 21 on PO? I don't remember. Okay. Well, whatever this is, we're up against it. Two blues probably is not ideal against, you know, a good green. The only good green, but a good green. Okay. Okay. It's kind of why I said that. I don't know, this blue unit's a little bit good. A uh, green unit. <laughs> Not the blue unit right there. Not doing too much, but green unit's a little bit good. Oh, you waited. That's tough. Now what? I mean, 17 will heal this, so I hope you just do the cards fast. Okay. Oh. 17's gonna heal right now as well, which is nice. There you go, 17 full health. Pop main? I'm shocked you didn't pop main. And you let her die. Does this work? I hope it just worked. Oh, it actually worked? That's tough. Yeah, that's unfortunate for you, man. Also, health sorty buffs are very prevalent here. Um, I think this is worth it. I could go to a four coup and just like murder him, but like I wanna use I wanna use the fours. Should draw a card here, hypothetically. Uh I don't think I draw another one though. No, I just draw a blue card, damn it. unfortunate man goodbye to you hopefully get an lf here doesn't leave me stays in you know stay please 
I already popped his endurance if you're wondering. Like, oh my god, where's his endurance thing? He stops, you know, all this. I already popped it. Oh man, their LF, I will say, a few times I do see it, it starts growing on me more and more. Not that part at the end, particularly. Not this part, particularly, either. But like, the build up to that, kind of like the LF GV build up, obviously. GV's LF looks a lot better than this fucking unit, but like, I don't know, the build up process to the LF look. It's starting to get better. Also, this equipment, I didn't touch on it. And I'll also touch on one more thing. Well, it goes either slot. Great. Awesome. Um, so it's 30% on Striker Blast, right, basically. And then damage the Android, damage the girls. It's for girls uni rep. So it's like, I guess this is for like Red 21. You give like double blasts. Like I'm thinking like relevant units. Like Red 21 is actually relevant, right? Because the Android's team is pretty slept on. Um... I can't think of anybody else, like Kefla, I'm pretty sure has better equipments than this. So it's probably okay. It's not worth like chasing hard. Like I got one gold slot, it's a blast. So it's like, I guess that's good for red 21, but maybe get like one and one, like one, I you know you can't control it, but like one strike, one blast. If you're like eager to care about this equipment, I, I, I particularly don't. I don't think it's amazing. I don't think it's bad because I mean, this extra damage will help you early game, especially red 21. Again, her burst damage is fucking insanity. Kefla, she's not even that great early game because what you want is that support kind of like ramping and going with her like damage going because she's doing a lot of cards and you know, all this shit. So I think this is more meant for Red 21 than anybody. So yeah, if you're wondering about that. And then the fours, uh, their equipment, I didn't go over the options you could use as alternates, which usually I do because people don't have every, like there's a triple awakened equips. Are you really going to have triple fucking awakened equips? No, it's just not reality, right? People do not want to do all that shit. I don't even want to do all that shit. I barely play the game off camera at this rate. When I'm trying to like do the tedious, like I'll never do like gauntlets or like this new fucking event that came out with hit, right? Like just for an example, I don't even touch this. You're supposed to do this daily. <laughs> Think I fucking touch this shit? <laughs> it's just kind of how it is. But uh, equipment wise for the fours real quickly would be also 17's windscreen. Still base, still based. Love that about 17 is windscreen. Um, what would be most replaceable? I guess you could replace this or this you really don't want to place the first one the first one's way too good but one of these two for righteous saiyan for a double strike special move kind of like this um obviously these two are better i will say but if you want to replace for an alternate option maybe if you want to replace this equip you don't care about blue card damage much which would be kind of goofy but you want some health restoration instead of blue card damage you get this plot equip which isn't that hard to farm it's tedious for sure but it's not that hard to farm um there's not many great alternates there is this pure which if you do own it it's old as fuck if you do own it, this is 12.50% pure, most people don't own. You can actually run this probably over one of these two equipments on the back end here. But there's not many alternate options. What you're really wanting is, okay, strike, blue card, both on one equipment. And lo and behold, all three of these have strike, blue card, all on one equipment. So Righteous Saiyan, probably is like your fourth option. That equipment there I kind of named off as like a sixth, fifth option type shit. Um, like this. You're thinking, okay, I could run this. It's just so low. Like, again, Righteous Saiyan just prevails over this 10 times over because that's like 30 some percent and the same amount of blue card if not a little bit more you can argue some other equips but like the main ones is righteous saying and then if you have this pure go for it if you i mean there's not much else but yeah like there's just not much else honestly you want these equipments because these equipments are very good they're just overall very good equipments they're very uh limitless just all gt like Okay, Vegeta melee type Vegeta range. Like we're gonna get a lot of me uh, melee and range type Vegetas that are gonna want to be double offense. So it'll work out in the future. I just recommend farming those. But if you don't want to, Righteous Saiyan always does exist, and it's always a uh, solid alternate option. Never really a core option for most units unless they just have shitty uh, equipment selections. But good alternate. Ambulance coming. We move. Pan with Hit and Beast? I mean, Hit with Pan and Beast, I guess, is the more interesting thing. Okay. Good enough. If you want to go to Hit, go for it. I don't particularly care. Okay. Let's just go for these quickly. Cool. I mean, sure. This is helpful. Wow, that's a lot of HP on Hit. Jesus. Lots of stars on this guy. Oh, I didn't think I'd PV him there. Whoops. Oh, well, this is great. Yeah, I just didn't think I'd PV him there, so I didn't even, like, register even trying to attack. Cool. You done? Awesome. Go for Blast. 
Pool. I mean, I'll just go for this. Why not? Oh, four point fucking four, basically. Got it. Not shocking on that one. How do you have so much HP? What is your bench? This is gonna hurt. Obviously, he's neutral defensively, but like, still gonna hurt. Jesus Christ, that did a lot. Cool. You swap. I have a feeling of swap. I was correct in my feeling. Beautiful. Hmm. I mean, he could go to beast. It's fine. If he wants to go to beast, go for it. Okay. Do this blue card. Cool. What is this? Oh, okay. It is a strike. I was wondering, like, ah, was that a great play? It wasn't a great play, but it was a workable play. Gonna drop because beast. Obvious prediction there. Very nice. I would go to Pan if I were you at this point, because... Okay. You could just reduce my key to where I couldn't even do all those cards, but instead you lose Pan. You didn't have to do that. What is the bench? I'm going to go back and look at this after this match. Where is my sidestep? Okay, cool. The fuck? Got it. I always just forget I could tackle there, and I always go to dash forward like a fucking nut. A dunce? Dunce. <laughs> uh, do you kill? I assume you kill, alright? I'd be shocked if you don't. I'm fucking shocked. Okay. Well. I really thought that'd be a rush. I really thought that'd be a rush there. That's why I did the sidestep instead of attack. Okay. Okay. Goodbye to you! I think. Goodbye to you. Appreciate it. Great. Still has his main. Can I guess him? No. I'm not shocked. Beautiful. 17! Goodbye! Oh, you're gonna get a left. Just, just saying. Like it's gonna happen. If you don't leave, at least. Yeah, shit's happening. So many cards from Gia. Like really, it, it's so ridiculous how many cards Gia spawns. Dude, I gotta, I, I gotta check that because I am so confused how he had 4.4 million HP on Beast, and he wasn't even hitting like that meekly. Like he was hitting hard enough, right? Damn, that's fucking crazy. What the hell was this? Like even hit had a lot of HP. I guess he's leadered, so it makes sense, but... Like, what are the equips we're running on this shit? That was unique. That was unique. For sure. Saw the LF. I like it a little bit more. Again, good stuff. Again, this is going to be easy video. The fours are still very good. He had a quadruple HP match. <laughs> okay. Go Kua, go Tanks, go Han, Pan. Quadruple HP bench. All right. Interesting. Interesting setting to be in. It's always the third card, brother. It's never not. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> never. Early season, especially. But usually, never not. Okay, we'll tap out. I don't want to waste that green card particularly, but if I have to, I will. Goodbye. Well, maybe not, because you're neutral. Yep. And then you let him die. Well, that's not good. That's unfortunate. We should be alive here. Nothing crazy will happen. Like, USG is just not that much output anymore. Kind of how it is. Yeah. I'm not going to let all this shit continue, though. Oh, you tackled? Cool. Okay. Thanks for the offer, but I'm good. Hmm, a lot of strikes. Let's do this. You're gonna swap? No. Okay, go to him here. You are neutral, right? Twice. 
That's your second time. Oh. Okay. Taught me. Tough. Rush? No. Oh, wait, what? He attacked. What'd he do? Oh, I guess he did a blast there? Why would you do a blast there? He definitely did a blast there, though. Interesting. Interesting. I have no idea why he did a blast there, but he did. Because he caught me. You see the exclamation mark. That means he attacked, but... Just did the wrong card. I don't even know why. Okay. I mean, it helps me, but, like, it's just confusing as all. Oh, we start the bad clashes. One step at a time. Oh, I thought you dropped. You would've been smart. Okay. I mean, that was a pretty bad clash. Can I get the LF or are you gonna leave me? Oh, nice. Now, obviously, this LF. Very clean. Very, very fucking nice. Though, I do think it's a little bit gassed. A little bit. Because that part, I thought it was pretty raw. Now I think about it like more of a logical sense now. Like, is that actually intended? No. He literally breaks his arm, Goku. When he like pulls his fist back. Like, he breaks his, he dislocates his arm to do a punch into somebody's stomach. I think it's like, it goes hard. That go crazy. But like, was that actually intended? Probably the fuck not. Does he break his arm? I assume he doesn't break his arm in the fucking show when he does that to Ice Shenron, right? So, a little bit of a hold back there. A little bit overrated because of that, but nonetheless, still a very nice looking LF. LF for on Future. Okay. VT as well. They're in the match. You can hardly tell, but they are here. <laughs> Maybe we'll see something from them. I'm curious. I'm very curious about VT. More than anybody else in this match. More than fours, even. VT is definitely the uh, the odd one out, you could say. That might be great. That might be terrible. That might not let me sidestep. Cool. Great. I didn't want to sidestep, but that's okay. Let's just swap. I should have swapped. I expected a strike as well. And now there's no strike. Tough. This will hurt. It's only a 7-star Forku. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought would happen as well. Oh, cool. Okay. Should be tanking here. Swap to VT? Swap to Forku? Swap to anybody? No? Why not? Okay. Oh, really? That's really a rush target? Okay, sure. Yeah, the, the purple's the rush target, I guess. Not the one that's better last man standing or the tag unit. The, the purple. Right, right. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Interesting. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Let's tackle here. Cool. Can I blast? Can I blast again? Awesome. I'm gonna assume anybody dies from this? Am I wrong? Three million? I wonder. I have no idea, actually. I mean, they lived. They did live. With the, with the crumb of HP. It did live. Do this. That's annoying. Literally, what do I do? Has a green card, of course. Unfortunate. <clears throat> okay. V 
ET, show me some. There's lag, appreciate that. It's <laughs> a lot of swapping gotta do. And VT still couldn't kill anything, huh? Okay. Cool. Pretty sure he dies. Already? What? That was fast, okay. This is important. Good thing I sucked at it! Sure! Do something? Man, the monster really is carrying this match, huh? Kind of expected. Okay. 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 Interesting. Do this, do this. Because VT has a strike cover change, if you don't know. Um. Hmm. Really? Okay. Didn't swap. That's tough. Forker doesn't have his ult. I'm pretty sure at least. I think he already did it. I think I guessed. The VT did not look very good here. That's just, I'm just, just saying. The VT. His Amazi definitely looked a lot better than VT here. Alright. Oh, you mm, usually people fucking wait there. Usually he waited there even. Hey, don't double rush me here. That'd be awesome. I just appreciate that. That's all I ask. Oh, I sidestepped. Oh, my fault. Mm hmm. Cool. What was the stars on that VT? Let me see. I'm like pretty sure they were Zenkai buffed as well. What was the stars on that VT? I, I need to see. His monster was 14. I know that. Forku was 7. I didn't see VT. I, I need to know. Is this a strike slot? Oh, nice. I have a 1 and 1. See, like I said, just get 1 and 1. It's not that easy, but still, get 1 and 1 if you can. Stars? That was an 8 star VT. That's pretty average. You, you would say like 7 to 9 stars is pretty average for VT because people just didn't go OD on them because they weren't that great in comparison to the 4s at least. Um. No, that was really underwhelming from them. Like, the 4s were tanking VT. Like, straight up, you saw that, right? They were Zenkai buff as well, I'm pretty sure, VT. Um, actually, they're already Zenkai buff, because this is Yellow Saiyan. So I don't know if they were 2x or 1x, but they were Zenkai buff. No, that was just underwhelming for VT. That was that was really underwhelming. Underwhelming. Um, movies. Okay. Thank you, Legends. Thank you. Appreciate the contribution to that point one bullshit. I'm what? What? Hello? Wait, what? I'm physically out of the way. All right, cool, nice. My fault. Can't be more out of the way if I try to. Yeah, no, I'm good. Interesting. Very interesting match. Your neutral's gone. What? What? Okay. What in the hell? It's a long animation as well, Chief. What the hell are you doing? I don't care who, somebody. I'm surprised Pan wasn't back. Oh, I, got, I thought I was going to get bullshit again on that one. Would have been awesome. 
Do this. Do this. Doesn't matter. You can't win with Pan. And goodbye to Pan, I fucking hope. Should be dead. From the gust, obviously. Now Beast. With endurance! I'm glad to say Beast is not as spooky as he once was months ago. Feels nice to say that. Feels like other units are as spooky, which is a problem, but he isn't that spooky. No sidestep here? No, oh, let me see some 17. He's here. Fuck it. He's built defensively because he's meant to defend. Eh, it's alright. Nothing crazy. Nothing expected, honestly, but nothing crazy. We'll do our match and wrap it up. Fours, obviously, you see their damage. You even saw their tank tanking. Can't speak. Last match. Uh, they were tanking VT that was Zenkai buffed. Again, I don't remember if it was double or single Zenkai buff, but Zenkai buff nonetheless. Not bad. The fours definitely have a good value. I'm just trying to think of like a, a, a tier list setting, like where I'd put them still. I think I had them like below four coup, which I'd probably keep them below four coup, but I wouldn't put them below pan and puddle, which is where I had them. Exactly the same spot where they were below four coup, but above pan and puddle. So that would be like. I think that's like 5th, 6th, 6th area. I, I think it's like 6th or 7th area, which, I mean, that's the same value that they just had. So from what I'm seeing, their value hasn't moved, which is good. You usually decrease in value if you lose boost, right? Their value hasn't particularly moved, which I, I think is a W, obviously, because you would think they go down. Last match, I think it's uni reps. EVO! Where the hell'd you come from? Fucking Evo out of the woodwork. What in the hell? Bro came into play. Alright. <laughs> Motherfucking Evo in the last match. Hey, it's unique. And unique is different. You know what? Different's a good thing. It's gonna get a blue card here as well. Alright, Evo, go off, go off, go crazy. Go ballistic. Yes, sir, he's evil in all over him. Don't let him go. He'll go too crazy for you. All I wanted was the sidestep. <laughs> Glad I got it eventually. Go to Kefla? Oh boy. I don't know how Kefla does in the setting that she's about to be in, but I mean, we'll find out, right? We'll find out. Because now she's disadvantaged. And 17 isn't particularly going to be the greatest situation here. I mean, it's not the worst, but he's not the greatest situation here. Let, let's just kind of do this. Evo? Tank and got Evo. Flawless defense, as they once stated to us. Look at that. It's not because the combo comp or anything, but you know. No, no, no. Couldn't be. Oof. Oh, I thought he'd go after one jump. Okay, Evo! It's your time! Go! Go go better? It's not going that well. <laughs> Evo, it's your time! Please! Okay, that's not Evo, but sure. Should just pop the main for cover and all, but... Whatever. There you go. Kind of late, but you know. Better late than never, I guess. Oh, he waited! That's tough. 17's dead? Question mark? I mean, no, he's not. Oh, well, maybe he could be now. Hello? What? Why'd you overcharge? What? Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> Why do you keep, like, extra waiting? <laughs> What is going on? What are you doing? Oh no, Kefla! Oh, that's tough. Why are you dropping and doing extra shit that's unnecessary? Okay. This is a very interesting match. I I'm pretty sure I got caught, like... To get murdered a couple times at this point, and he just didn't do it. Yeah, I, I don't particularly mind. He didn't have to wait there. It's okay. You could charge step. Okay. You have vanish. I understand this. Don't worry. And a green card, blue card, green card. Okay. I'm alright. Appreciate the offer, though. 
Well, we get his windscreen at least. Wait, did I? I didn't pop his endurance here, right? No, I didn't. You should still get it. Yeah, we get it. We get it. We get it. Okay. Overall, one. This was the whole budget of Legends Fest Part One. Maybe even a little bit of Part Two, but I mean VT's LF actually looks pretty good, All right? So Part One. All in this fucking character. The whole budget. Not bad. The fours look equivalent to where they were. Um, obviously, the defenses have fallen to an extent, but you can also point out that their offenses are so high that if their defenses have fallen, it's kind of an expectation to be had, but it's not so far that you're like, oh my god, what the hell, I'm dying in four cards? Like, they're fine. They're going to be well. Uh, they have a good Zenkai bench, if nothing else, with OG3, who is double defense, with 17, who is double defense. So they have a good Zenkai bench options that will be on their teams consistently anyways. And on top of, again, their raw output is enough to be satisfactory. It's good. It's straight up good output. So let me guys think of the fours off boost. I'll see you guys in the next one where it's probably going to be uh, VT off boost. They're not 14 stars. So it'll be interesting to see VT.